uh, you actually get a worse sound if you turn everything up all the way, which is the absolutely, <laughs> it's what I find is weird, because, you know, whatever I do stuff. Like Alright, so we have Ike vs. Palutena. <laughs> the match has already started. Palutena's taking it uh, uh, neutral and running away with it. It's tough to say. Like, I think... I don't know if she has the advantage. Probably Palutena because she can recover. She has better recovery. Yeah, but she's really light, and Ike hits really hard, and all he's doing is getting raped right now. See, he's not dead. He's Plus, he does heavy. have greater range than her, I believe. And he's pretty quick, too. If, uh, how do you say his name? Koryu? Kuar. Kuar? Kuar. Kuar can, uh, can gain any footing here. He might... Uh, I mean, I know, Kaze is just running he's playing away up with Alright, no, okay. Well, I mean... I was honestly expecting... Dang. Palutena just not having a good kill moves or something? Or is Ike just not having Ike is pretty heavy. I know he's like... Now let's see, now moves. he's got, like... <coughs> what, is that max rage? Now he just needs to hit her Definitely. a few times and then get a up tilt off and he's solid. I'm no, I'm smash. Never. I'm smashing. The only time that Ike's counter is good is if you're on ledge and you jump up and you do it real fast because for some reason his comes out really well. Palutena's counter is kind of perfect because it takes so long to get ready for you know? them. Like Kuar really it needs to work on his face I mean, if he wants to see through this. Oh, there he goes. He's running away. Just keep it up. Keep that pressure. Kaze kind of crumbles under pressure. Boom. Look at that. That was a good weight. I'm not sure about that. I mean, he's done pretty well in the pressure before. He's taken maximum hits against me. Maybe that's just because I'm a bad player. Who, <laughs> Kruar? No, uh, Kaze. He's taken some games off. Like, like, he's come back pretty hard some games. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you, the only time that I can ever beat him is if I early game just womp him. Yeah, he's a killer. Yeah, in a frustration. But he's doing really solid right now. Yeah. And, oh, oh, that's it. That's the uh, same. Not the yeah. set. The, that's the game. That's the game. The, the match. That was oh. an easy 2-0 by Kaze against Fuar. Fuar, I don't know if we're going to see a character switch, but I hope we do because... It's probably not a bad idea. <coughs> Ike wasn't doing it for him. We need somebody that can actually, like, space. I could be so much better if his recovery wasn't garbage. I mean, watch oh. Rio and then tell me that his recovery is garbage. Okay. But that's fair. I mean, he's the best Ike in the world, so whatever. <laughs> He didn't switch, okay. and this is pretty much the same stage. Okay. Except now it But he blows. has that random factor of the blowing, because I've gotten some free, you know, you can get some free wins just because Yeah, of but Palutena's recovery is way better than Ike's. It's pretty... It's tough to say who... Uh... No, it's not. It's okay, yeah, I was about to say, really but now it's just like, yeah, yeah this is going to be a pretty close set, I think. And there's a shorter ceiling here, like, this is a bad stage. Does it have a small skybox? Compared to Battlefield? You bet. That's why DDD loves to go here. I'm smash back. Okay, good. I don't know much about stage picks, so I usually just pick whatever stage is based on the platform. Like if we're playing against like a mod, or like a pit, or somebody who can like put a lot of pressure on the platform. Like... Kuar seems to be doing better with his movement in this one. He's keeping, he's keeping even in the neutral. Maybe that's his plan though, because I feel like Ike has decent pressure when you're on the platform and he's below you, because most of his aerials do tend to hit a bit above him. So he can put some good pressure. And, you know, he just hits him, so if he does get the hit, you're going to be close to the ceiling first off. Then... But you got to look out for that with Palutena. She can do the ledge cancels with the teleports, and she, she pretty much has free range movement here. Yeah. Kuro really needs to get better reads for those counters if he wants them to work. He just needs like a really good, like just, just a, like an up smash or a forward smash, he'll take the stock in the problem. Ooh. It's a good play by Kaze, it's not even challenging. Yeah, no. Out of there. Especially against Ike's up smash, which is something that's... Yeah, like, is not very heavy. Yeah. Nobody's really that heavy against Ike, though. That's true. Kuar's edge guarding needs a little work. He just tries and goes for the ether, or whatever that move is called, the eruption. Which move? Uh, the one where he charges it and smashes the ground, the fire comes out. I think it's called eruption. Uh, okay. That move's pretty strong. If you know he's, he's got he's, his combos are <coughs> out now. He's just got to get a solid dash attack yep. up tilt. There Basically, I. Kuar takes the first stop. He's definitely much better this game against the And yeah. quickly followed up by. Kuar's first stop. 
those, those are the combos that need to keep going. Those down throw forward airs and up throw up tilt or up airs. I, I mean, I, I get pretty sick with those grab combos. Really, all, all Kaze has to do is just get like get him up to a decent percent. Dude, look at Kuro going in though. He's, yeah, it seems like that's something you got to do with Mike though. Cause you got to keep the pressure up. Because you get him time to like charge up a move or something. Yeah. But, you know, I doesn't do very good. Doesn't do very well. Yep. And there goes Kaze trying to do a counter. Counter City. I just think they want to swag on each other. I'm not, you know, I'm not like an option professional. I don't know much about that stuff, but I will say that it's probably not a good idea to use Palatine's counter as an option for the second floor. It doesn't. Oh, and Kuro Ooh, takes dang, this is gonna be going. Okay, I thought that was gonna be over really quick, but. No, I mean, Kuro really adjusted and made the changes he needed to do to succeed there, so, uh, you know, I stand corrected on that stage pick. That short sailing really helped him out. All right, so, I mean, well, you know, eruption and like up smash launches upwards, and that's always like you know, erup like eruption and. I wonder if we're gonna see a lilac pick here <coughs> by uh, Kaze. Bridge of Elden. Bridge of Elden. Oh, Bridge oh. of Elden. Bridge of Elden. The most balanced stage of them all. Did you have a match? Yeah, but they're gonna wait. Cool. I guess we're uh, not talking very loud. Three, two, one, Is that better, Lorenzo? I have a short neck. I can't do much. <laughs> all right, so we go to game three. This is something I didn't expect to see, but you know, yeah, Karar made was, all those adjustments. Open shot face. So I'm, I'm very impressed by uh, Karar Zyke. He's keeping his distance, doing baiting forward airs to keep distance and get that disjointed sword out there. One thing I have noticed against like, Kaze though is when he starts to like lose or starts to understand like he's you know at like a risk of losing the match, he starts to play he spaces out a lot, his movement gets a lot more like sporadic. Not like in a bad way, you know, but yeah. He starts to play a little more scared. Yeah. And use and against a slow character like I it's probably a good idea to move a lot more like that. Because, I, I liked like, that single jab into attempt grab by uh Kuar there. Oh, he can probably he did a jab and he tried to go for the grab, but uh, Kaze spot dodged it. But it wasn't a bad option because oh, it was a good mix-up. I didn't see it coming. God, he just needs to keep that up. Ike has a pretty good jab. I Ike has a really good jab. His jab one and two are solid. His third one comes out a bit slow, so if you like a really quick move, you can always get in between there. Like, like if, like if he's playing against Mark, 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 Mark. If, if Kaze keeps doing that run up and then Ooh, roll back, nice, Kuro's nice. gonna get a solid dash attack on that. But that was a good kill by uh, by Kaze there. Kuro going for the raw forward smash. He just wanted it. One, two, three, jab. Another one, two, jab, grab there would have been solid. Well, I mean, Ike tends. Uh, I'd say Ike does a decent job in like a ledge situation because he has a lot of moves to cover the stage, the ledge. So if he just charges a fourth smash, they're not just going to try to go over that or something, they're just going to try to go onto the ledge. So it kind of forces a situation where he can kind of benefit. Yeah. For this jab. Kaze. They, they're really trying to read each other's spacing. There's a whole lot of like oh, no, oh, dash dancing going punish. on there. I wish I could dash dance. <laughs> I wish I could dance. Oh, excuse me, there. <laughs> they're just running back and forth. Fuck this truck. It looks like Kaze's just gonna run away with this too. Kaze seems to have made the adjustments from the last set that he really needed. Makes me wonder if he had to go to a best of three. Who was going for? They seem to they, they change. They, they seem to adapt a lot to each other. Or maybe, you know, we've seen all that Kuro has to offer at this time. Uh, he seems to go for this as his Ooh. option on the ledge every time. It's not working. Yeah, it hasn't worked yet. Honestly, I think just like trying to neutral air over, just jump neutral air, we'll probably catch him. Or a uh, charge and oh, uh, face and away and charge and up smash because the back part of up smash reaches off ledge. But uh, Kaze will be taking that with another two stocks. Uh, I have a match, so peace out.